Hey everyone, Arian here from seeyousoon.ca. Today I'm bringing you to Toronto to showcase a side of the city that I really love, and that's the street art scene. Now before I get started, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and you hit that notification bell. The street art scene here in Toronto is incredible, but it didn't start off that way. This form of artistic expression was previously seen as vandalism, particularly in the realm of graffiti and tagging. But in 2012, the city launched a program called Street Art Toronto to create vibrant, colorful and community engaged street art. Since then, they've worked with countless artists to add beauty and character to neighborhoods and in the process have created an outdoor museum for the public. You'll find street art all over the city, but if you're looking for those must-see spots with a lot of amazing street art, then here are five spots in Toronto for some of the best street art. All right, well, let's kick things off in a pretty unique location, Underpass Park. It's located in Toronto's East End, between the Eastern Avenue, Richmond, and Adelaide Street underpasses, and transformed what used to be a rundown, even forgotten part of the city into a multi-use community space. The two and a half acre park features recreational spaces, a place for social connection, and of course, street art. In collaboration with a number of organizations in the city, artists were encouraged to transform over 50 of the underpass columns into vibrant pieces of street art, which have become a notable feature of the park to this day. Next up, I'm taking you to a more residential part of the city, the Ossington Laneway. Running just west of Ossington Avenue between Queen Street West in the south and Humbert Street in the north, the Ossington Laneway is about a 200 meter alley where residents can access their car garages. In 2012, with the permission of homeowners, a group of local and international artists came together to transform the garage doors into works of art. In 2019, a revitalization project went sideways, destroying most of the original artwork, but some of the artists returned shortly thereafter to reclaim their work. The Ossington Laneway is a great example of what you'll find all over Toronto if you're up for exploring the city's back alleys and laneways. Now for another alleyway that's filled with street art that's a little bit off the radar, I'm bringing you to Milky Way. This 350 meter laneway runs parallel to Queen Street West between Cowan Avenue and Dufferin Street. And yes, it is actually called Milky Way. It is covered in all forms of street art by local and international artists. It's a bit of a hidden gem in the world of street art in Toronto, so when you visit, you'll likely have the entire laneway to yourself. All right, well next up, we're heading to the west end part of the city to the village of Islington Murals. Located along a stretch of Dundas Street West between Kipling and Islington Avenues, you'll find a collection of 28 photo-like murals, collectively called the Mosaic Murals. The majority of the murals are set in the early 1900s, highlighting the history of the village and showcasing actual people, places and events from the past. The project was initiated by the Village of Islington BIA in 2004, and 25 of the 28 murals were painted by a single artist, John Kuna. To learn about each of the murals in more detail, check out villageofislington.com, and while you're there, you can also download a mural map to help guide your visit. And lastly, I'm bringing you to the most popular spot in the city for street art, Graffiti Alley. Running along a laneway south of Queen Street West between Spadina Avenue and Portland Avenue, Graffiti Alley was the first legalized graffiti zone in the city. Every nook and cranny of this area is filled with street art and has become quite the destination for photographers, Instagrammers, television shoots, and of course, street art enthusiasts. Some of the city's best known artists have pieces here, showcasing themes ranging from the human experience to political and social activism. The pieces change periodically, so this is one spot worth returning to. Now the great thing about street art is that you can freely explore it around the city, but if you want to have a guided experience, then I recommend joining a walking tour with tour guides. On their graffiti and street art tour, you'll explore the neighborhood of Queen Street West going beyond the famous graffiti alley to off the beaten path locations in the neighborhood. You'll learn about the history of graffiti and street art in Toronto, the different styles, tools used to create this art form, and even how to read it. Tours last about one and a half hours, and if you enjoyed the tour, remember to tip your guide. 
So there's a look at five locations across the city where you can see some of the best street art. And all you need is a good pair of walking shoes and a curious spirit. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet already. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you soon.